It's the spring of 1941. Hitler overruns Europe and has his sights set on England. The United States has not officially joined the fight, but President Franklin Roosevelt sends vast supplies to help our friends, and he's nudging the country towards war. The first step, a peacetime draft passed by Congress. The military is now accepting African-Americans into racially segregated units. The new recruits know we may soon be at war with Hitler, whose racist regime believes all non-white people are inferior. You are a young African-American, a man named Vernon Baker. You've been working as a railroad porter and in other menial jobs that you despise. And your sister suggests you join the military. You take her advice and head to an army recruiting center in rural Texas. You meet a burly white sergeant and tell him, I'd like to join the army. He replies, we ain't got no quotas for you people. You leave quietly, but you're furious. You want to serve your country just like thousands of other patriotic Americans, but you've been humiliated. Will the racist actions of one sergeant make you shun the military altogether? What would you do? Would you try to enlist again? Or would you decide not to enlist and serve only if drafted? Here's what really happened. Vernon Baker returned to the same recruiting office a few months later in June 1941. This time, it was a different sergeant who eagerly signed up Baker for infantry duty. Baker completed training and was commissioned as a second lieutenant. He was sent to Northern Italy with the all-black 92nd Infantry Division. He led a successful attack on the hilltop German stronghold of Castle Agonolfi, personally destroying several enemy machine gun nests and observation posts. After the war, Baker became one of the first African-American officers to command an all-white company. Like many minorities who served our country with valor Baker's accomplishments were not fully realized until many years later. In 1997, President William Clinton awarded Vernon J. Baker the Medal of Honor for his actions in Italy. The determination of Vernon Baker and other African Americans to serve, despite the discrimination they faced, propelled the war effort and the American Civil Rights Movement.